share with you and others um, in utterly condemning uh, what has happened and in sympathising with the family and friends of those affected. And it was quite something to see millions of people on the streets of Paris and elsewhere, uh, sincere, uh, worried and in some cases very frightened people. Uh, but also there were 40 significant important political leaders and they too were using the language of unity, solidarity, uh, but I'm afraid for them, Je suis Charlie is simply not enough because we need now to have an honest admission that actually our political decisions have led to much of what has happened. Just think about foreign policy from Afghanistan, through Iraq, through Libya and even the attempt to want to arm the rebels in Syria. All of this was done, we were told, to make our streets safer. And in fact, what we've done is to stir up very deep resentments within much of the Muslim community, and it's had the very opposite effect. We have pursued policies of mass immigration at a rate that has made it frankly impossible for many new communities to integrate. And for that, I think we have to hold our hands up. And perhaps worst of all, we've been guilty of weakness, of lack of courage, of lack of assertion in who we are as people, and we've turned a blind eye within many of our minority communities to practices that would not be tolerated in the rest of the population, and indeed we've allowed preachers of hate to go around saying things that are totally unacceptable. The result of all of this is that we do have, I'm afraid, I'm sad to say, a fifth column that is living within our own countries, that is utterly opposed to our values. And how we deal with that problem is vital for the future. We must embrace the vast majority of Muslims who themselves are horrified by the civil war that is going on within Islam. But unless we're prepared to admit our own culpability in much of what has happened, we are not going to be able to find solutions. I would suggest this, though, for the future. We're going to have to be a lot braver and a lot more courageous in standing up for our Judeo-Christian culture. Thank you.